Guys, Keegan Murray, I know it was three games, but guy dominated, okay? Dominated the summer league. Like, he led, the second leading scorer was Guy Santos, who we made videos on. He averaged 14 points. But Keegan Murray, he averaged 19.7, 20 points a night on 15 field goals attempts while hitting 7.7, .7, which is 51% of his field goals. He shot 15 attempts a game and hit 51% of them. That's unreal. And five and a half of them were from three where he hit those 44% for about two and a half makes. And then he went to the free throw line and hit every single free throw he had. I know it was only like six free throws, but he's still 100%. He had eight rebounds a night, one and a half steal and a block. Okay. Ended with a net rating of plus 13. That is a dog. And my dog just walked up. What up, jazz baby? She got a bath today, so she's happy. She actually hates baths, but she likes being clean. Either way, Keegan Murray. Keegan Murray. Looking like everyone's like, he's overdrafted. He's just Tobias 2.0. I have championed that his floor is that he is Tobias Harris 2.0. But still, this is a cat who has shown that he is a dog. And I have enjoyed every minute of watching him. Like, he's, he's really that talented. And for me... When we, we see a guy like this, I think it's just fun to watch. I know people are going to be like, well, he went to Sacramento and his career is over. But I really do believe that this is just just an example of how good this team is and what they're what they're capable of. And I honestly, I had so much fun watching them have like the success that they did. And I think it's really due to the fact that or he had, I said they, but Keegan Murray, it's just, he looked NBA ready. He looked NBA ready. And I know some people are going to be like, well, that's why he was drafted because he was NBA ready. And yeah, that's really, I think he, they drafted him that early because they knew they needed somebody who was going to be able to come in and be able to contribute day one. And I think that's just something people are just overlooking that he was probably the most pro ready one of arguably the most pro ready players in this draft class and for me this is why he was drafted was because of that readiness coming into this so coming into the nba and his ability to not only play power forward but small forward i assume for the kings he's gonna play power forward next to sabonis because that just makes the most sense in my head I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong right there, but that just obviously makes the most sense for them to use him at power forward. And then if they ever want to go big, because I think you put Harrison Barnes, who's more who's a better small forward, and then you put power forward Keegan Murray and then Sabonis at center. I think that just works better. And then sometimes if you want to go big, you can go, I guess in this case, it would be with Keegan at small forward and then somebody else at power forward and I guess Sabonis at power forward and then hypothetically Rashawn Holmes or Nemes Keta, who's also been great. Nemes Keta has been fun. I love Nemes Keta and I really hope he actually gets some time to to play because let's be honest, he has not gotten his fair his fair run at all with things. So for me, I just <clears throat> I just hope they do give him minutes, which he rightfully deserves. And I want to hear your thoughts. Is there any concerns with Keegan Murray? I just I know it's summer league talent. So that is always a problem when talking summer league because when he goes against NBA guys, he might not have the success that he he did right here, which I, I completely understand. And I have faith that it's all going to work out personally. I think he's skilled enough for it to be a plus defender at the very least. Again, at the we talked about this before. Defensively, at the very least, he's going to be Keegan Murray, or not Keegan Tobias Harris. But I just think the fit is why he was drafted, and we we got to see that how ready of an NBA player he really is. Because this cat, this cat can ball, and we're not going to act like we didn't know that. Obviously, because I think that was something that we all agreed that. I think I'm I'm very fortunate that. I'm in the small majority that I actually didn't mind the the Keegan the Keegan Murray draft pick. I know there was a lot of people who weren't a fan of it, thought it was a bad at four, it was bad, but I think there was worse worse picks. Like Jaden Ivey would have been awesome, don't get me wrong. 
for the Kings, but he didn't want to go there. He also had the same agent as Tyrese Halburn. So realistically, I think they did the, the responsible thing and got themselves a player who can come in and be able to be a factor actually for them day one. And I think that's bigger than what people are realizing. So that's really where I want to hear your thoughts down below. Is there anything I missed out on or anything you guys want to, any points that you guys want to talk about? Besides that, I think that's basically everything I have for y'all. I think I'm, I'm done rambling. Goodbye.